about hallway displays, and we're going to touch on the reason why they are important, ways to make it easy for you, and ways to create a durable display. Why is a hallway display important? Well, simply because this is the first representation of you. Chances are if someone's looking for you, they are going to come to your classroom, be it an administrator, a teacher, or a parent. So this is their first impression of you, which is important. Uh, the, the, the way to make it easy, so it takes up very little of your time, is to have a neutral background. What I've used for the last five years is a um, famous paper from Schoolbox. I laminated it, and it's nice and neutral, and we can change what goes up around it depending on the theme. For example, the spring theme that has been up, it's almost June, and the spring theme that has been up since April um, can easily be exchanged with an ocean theme, with a little effort on my part as the teacher. It's easy. Neutral background, you can change what's around. How to create a durable display. The best way to create a durable display is to use mounting tape. Little pieces of mounting tape that you can get from the Kroger or Office Depot. Make sure you put a lot around the edges and around the bottom, and you can fill it in with just a little bit in the middle. That way your display will be sturdy and hold your work throughout the school year. Pay attention to the details. For example, rather than using the regular wooden clothespins, I spray painted these white so that it blended in with the, with the, um, with the clouds nicely. Another thing, too, is you can use the putty to make sure that your work is flush, to make sure that your work is flush with the wall. Another important concept to keep in mind is the whole thing. It's nice if you can display the rationale, the teaching rationale behind what it is that you, that you have up on the wall. And tie in as much as you can uh, the entire the entire uh, scheme of what your what the people are going to see when they come in. So another helpful hint too is to pick a theme that you can last for a long time. Spring. Once again, it's almost June, and this theme has been up since April. So it's easy. It doesn't take much time, and you create a wonderful impression for those that come to visit your class.